Stay tuned for Air Gun Detectives. Welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. Today we're going to take the mystery out of the Sig Sauer MCX Virtus PCP 22 caliber. Anyway, before we get started on this, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Would appreciate that. If you'd like to be notified every time we come out with a new video, hit that little bell right there. Um, feedback's great. I really appreciate the thumbs up. As many of those as we can get, um, the better. And also, don't forget to check out my website, that little lowercase i in the corner. Put your mouse over that anytime and uh, you can actually click on it and go right to the website. So anyway, let's talk about our SIG here. I'm pretty excited about this. I've been anticipating this uh, release for ages and I'm just so glad that I got one nice and early so I can show it to you guys. Anyway, um, this is a PCP version. I'm going to show you what you get in the box here of your MCX. All right, so this is how it comes just like this in the box. Pretty simple setup. Got your little manual here. We have your little tank. And also I want to establish right now, if you'll see this little tank, um, the gauge that comes on this, it's going to be different than what's on the box. But I check with SIG, this is exactly what it's supposed to be coming with. So it's coming with the right tank. So don't hesitate on that. Anyway, so what you got here, is our rifle. This thing is abuse. There's no question about that. So let's get um, get all our pieces out here. Fits so nice. Anyway, so this is our rifle. Um, the only thing you're going to have to do is put the tank on. I like before I put these on just because there's there's two. If you can see here, there's two actual o-rings on here and I put uh, just a slight dab of uh, scuba driver silicone grease on that just to make this a, a good seal and then what you want to do is you're going to screw this thing in until it's nice and snug and then you're going to go a half more turn so you're going to go a half more turn or quarter turn until you can see this gauge so it's it's actually um, nice and even and it's horizontal along with the rest of the gun. So that's gonna go in there. Now check this out. SIG has thought of everything when they put this stuff together. And don't worry, I'm gonna talk about specifics on this rifle in a minute. But if you look at the handle here, you slide the handle out and SIG's got a tool in here for you. And in this tool, it's a little wrench. You've got a little Allen wrench, you have a pellet seeder if you need it, and then you have uh, your adjustment for your front sights, and we'll talk about that in a second and another little screwdriver blade here. But anyway, so then what you want to do is this other piece that comes in the back, you want to just get this set on the back of the tank, and you take your little wrench right here, and then what you want to do is just um, snug this up. Slide that little wrench in there and go ahead and snug this up. Get that kind of lined up nice and even there. And just a quick little snug turn, and you're good. And then this wrench goes right back in this little holder, and then you can snap it right up into the bottom, just like that. Okay, um, let's talk about this rifle. This is a PCP rifle, and those of you who don't know what PC means, that means pre-charged pneumatic. This has a um, 13 uh, cubic inch tank here and uh, you fill it to 3,000 PSI. And on this little gauge, it'll be, it's numbered one through eight, but you only go to three. You don't want to go over 3,000 PSI, because that's what this is set up for. In addition to that, uh, this thing is regulated at 1,100 PSI. So each time you fire it, 1,100 PSI comes out and pushes that pellet. And that's how you can get consistent shooting is uh, every time it's 1100 PSI. So you should roughly be able to fill this to 3000 PSI and shoot it all the way down to 1100 PC, um, um, PSI. And you should have regulated shots all the way through. Now, this being a, uh, a pre-charged pneumatic, this has a standard little Foster fitting on it right here. And you're gonna fill this a couple of ways. One, a scuba tank, which 
doesn't take much effort. You just put it on there and slowly fill that to 3,000 PSI. Or a hand pump. Here's the good news. In late April, Sig Sauer is coming out with their own hand pump, and I believe it's rated up to about 4,500 PSI, 1,500 more than you need. But they're going to come out with their own hand pump, and that's going to retail for right around 190 bucks. And I'm sure you can probably find that, um, you know, it'll be on sale or what have you. But late April, they're coming up. So then you have your own um, air source you can take with you in the field. You can go anywhere you want to be able to pump this thing up. Okay, so Sid's claiming that you can get almost 150 shots out of that tank. So that's, that's pretty significant. So let's talk a little bit about this gun. It weighs seven and a half pounds. So, it, I mean, it's a solid gun. Um, all metal up here. And then we've got, it's like a polymer here. Kind of similar to the CO2 versions. Um, in addition to that, you got a 17 and a half inch barrel. Okay. Um, the overall gun is about 32 and a quarter inches from the beginning to the end there. Um, you do have a 30 round belt fed magazine. These are very similar to the CO2 versions and I'll show you that in a second. SIG's also claiming you're going to get about 11 foot pounds of energy. And you have to remember anytime you're working or putting together like uh, a CO2 rifle or a PCP rifle, especially this PCP rifle, so you want to get a balance somewhere between velocity and shots per fill. Because you don't want to get, on a gun like this, you don't want to get 30 shots of maybe really high velocity, and then that's it. Then you got to go refill this thing. So what, what uh, SIG's done is they try to get a balance between the right velocity to make this functional. They're claiming you can hunt like small game with this, and I would assume that's like pests and uh, maybe rabbit, something like that. I wouldn't think much bigger than that because uh, they're only talking about 11 foot-pounds of energy. But anyway, um, other features on this gun. This comes stock with these flip-up and they're actual metal sights. They are really quality sights, if you can see this. There's some flip-up sights and uh, completely adjustable. Once again, you have your tool here that you can pull out, as you can see here, and uh, you can adjust your um, windage back here and then uh, obviously here you can adjust the height of the post okay um in addition to that um let me talk a little bit about the magazine here i'm going to show you if you're not familiar this is um sig's belt fed magazine it's very simple you just open up this little door right here look for the white section because that's where the split is if you can see there's two white, and just you can just grab the white section and pull this out. This is really, really easy to load. In fact, I'm going to show you how to load this real quick. So, you grab your pellets, and what you want is you see how it's got there's a there's a metal side on this um, belt magazine, and then there's a uh, just the plastic. So the metal side you want down. So the back of the pellet is going to go in on the non-metal side. So you want the nose of the pellet facing towards the metal. So basically what you do is just line them up and push them in. There's nothing to it. And uh, you just push these pellets in just like that. It's that simple. And then to push this back into the magazine, let me load that up. Okay, you want the little, you want the metal portion again on this um, belt magazine. You want the metal portion going towards the front of the magazine. And uh, basically, in the little notches, you want those up towards you. See, if you can see this, there's some little notches right in this. You want those up towards you. So we're, how you're gonna feed this is just like this. You're gonna slide this in and just push the belt around, just like this, okay? And it feeds in really easy. And then your other white one should line up to it and so you can just slide that around. And just so you know, this magazine feeds from the left side, the left side here, let me get this here, the left side here to the right side. So if you want to put, let's say, 10 rounds in there, what you would do is you would bring this magazine up to where there's the empty spot. Let me show you. You can do that, you can do that through here too, on this side. See the little notches right here? So you would bring this to the empty seat. So if you had a pellet there, you would just bring the, the empty side there and you would load it that way. Because when you first engage this, 
the trigger on these um, guns, what they do is they, it advances the magazine um, one spot every time you pull the trigger. So the first section is trigger, you're, um, you're uh, advancing the magazine. And that's all there is to it. So magazine just slides in like that and then you're ready to go. You've got two settings here. You've got your safe, safety and then your fire button. So there's your safety and then your fire button. And it's ambidextrous. So it's on both sides, which is nice. Anyway, flip up sides. Let's see, what else are we gonna talk about here? Um, the retail price on these, they're $349 as a retail, but I've already seen pre-orders out there for right at $299, right under, just slightly under $300. Bucks. So it looks like you're gonna be able to get these probably for around $300. Um, Higgs claiming 11 foot-pounds of energy. Um, they're claiming up to about 700 feet per second. Uh, obviously depending on the weight of the pellet but we're gonna put it through all the tests the good thing about this is this is not a preview video I'm giving you the full review on this I don't know about you guys but I don't like those preview videos where all of a sudden you just get to see the gun they tease you a little bit and go away and then you're wondering oh my god how does that perform so no we're not doing that here we're gonna give you the full review take it through our usual gamut and then we're gonna talk about it at the end so stay tuned for the next segment Let's test our SIG Virtus for some uh, velocity here. Uh, just so you guys know, um, I went through a bunch of pellets on this, a bunch. I'm talking probably 24 different types of pellets. And uh, the best pellets that perform in this gun as far as accuracy, velocity, most foot-pounds of energy, by far, are the Predator GTOs. They were number one. And uh, actually, there wasn't anybody that was even close. Those were just the best. Um, they work perfect in this gun. So let's uh, let's shoot uh, let's shoot a half a dozen shots through here. See what type of velocity we get, and then that way we can give you some real world uh, foot pounds of energy. All right. So let's see here. Shot number one. Six fifty one. Shot number two. Six sixty seven. Shot number three. Six fifty. Shot number four. 663, shot number 5, 667, and one more shot, 662. And there you have it. There's your average velocity for our Sig Virtus PCP, and uh, you see what the foot-pounds of energy is there. All right, let's move on to the next segment. We're going to test our trigger weight on our uh, Sig Virtus here. Um, remember, this trigger, it functions, does two things. It actually advances the belt as you initially pull it, and then obviously you release it to fire it. So it does two things. But let's see what type of weight we got here. All right. Okay, that shows a nine pound, uh, nine ounce trigger. It doesn't feel like that. I have to be honest with you. It doesn't feel like that. But let's do one more just for the heck of it and see where we're at. nine pounds 3.5 ounces so definitely a nine pound trigger um but as i says you would never know it because it, it's it's very smooth so let's move on to the next segment now we get to check out our uh, accuracy with our uh, sig virtus um as i mentioned before the best pellet in this the gto predators they're 11.75 grain they're non-lead pellet but the performance is the best and i tried numerous numerous amounts of pellets through here and uh, so these actually give you the best accuracy so let me shoot a few shots here let's shoot five five shots or so and uh, see how well they group we're our usual uh, 20 yards back if you want to take a look at that and uh, let's see how we do Not a bad group, I do have to say so myself. So let's move on to the next segment. My absolute favorite part is the plinking session. So let's see how well our Virtus is. Now, I tried this at several distances. I took this back pretty much your maximum distance. This is 40 yards. And uh, we're gonna see how well it does. In fact, take a look what we're shooting at here real quick. 
as you can see, we've got a diet um, a squirt. Don't tell my wife because she actually drinks those and she likes those, so don't tell her. Anyway, uh, we also have a little can that's on its side, a pipe, a couple little birds, and a little piggy. So let's see how well we can do at 40 yards because realistically, they're as small as any small game that you would try to hit from this distance, if not smaller. So let's see how well we can do here. By the way, I am using our uh, GTOs again, most accurate pellets, as you guys saw that. So let's uh, see if we can eliminate these. Yep, that's two. Three. Four. Oops. And let's go right to this one. Oh yeah. And can we finish that one off? We can. You guys see, even at 40 yards, you have some accuracy. But like I said, that would be the maximum distance you want to go. I personally would think anywhere from 30 yards closer would be absolutely perfect for this gun. So 40 yards is your maximum distance. Anyway, let's uh, move on to the next segment and wrap this up. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion on our Sig Sauer MCX Virtus. Wow, overall, this thing performed really well in my opinion. Let's talk about the negatives before we get into the positives. My only negative with this thing is you got to count your rounds um, because you, if you shoot it till it's empty, I mean you'll obviously know the difference because this is much louder um, shooting it without a pellet than with a pellet in it. So, but count your rounds or you're just going to have one shot, you're just going to waste some air on it. Um, it would be nice if there was a way that um, this would either quit firing or something would happen at the end of, thir at the end of um, the 30th round. But it doesn't, so just count your rounds, do something like that. So if that's my only negative, whew, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's talk about the positives. I got a whole list of those. Um, let's go right into the performance, then we'll talk about some accessories and things like that. Um, Sig was claiming this gets 11 foot-pounds of energy. We actually got a little better than that. We got 11.4 foot-pounds of energy. Uh, if you recall, we got a high of 667 feet per second, a low of 651. And we were shooting a just under a 12-gram pellet, 11.75 uh, Predator. And uh, that gave us 660 feet per second on average. And that was 11.4 uh, foot-pounds. Um, that by far, that pellet, the Predator, uh, by far the best pellet in this. Um, I went through, to let you guys know, I went through over 600 rounds with this and I put all kinds of different pellets through this. All kinds of different pellets. Different weights, shapes, sizes. Um, the lead pellets, it does, it does about the same with the 14 grain pellets regardless what they are. Um, not as close to the Predator at all, but Good enough where you can be shooting some cans and things like that at 20 yards and uh, fairly accurate. But as far as preciseness, can't beat the GTO. Uh, you cannot beat the GTOs. So anyway, so let's talk about that. I mean, we had shooting the GTO pellets at 20 yards. We were at 0.69 of an inch center to center, which is phenomenal. It means every shot made it into that small red dot in that target. And that was terrific. So, and you have to remember too, um, this is, it is a PCP rifle, but this is not designed as a target rifle where you're going to try to be really good at, uh, at, at putting as many pellets on top of one of the other as you possibly could on a paper target. It's not what this is designed for. This is for having fun and shooting some really small uh, game. Um, shooting cans and bottles and things like that at a rapid rate where you have 30 rounds to do it with. Um, you can also do some pest control, at, easily do pest control with 11 foot-pounds of energy. You know, some of those annoying rats or squirrels or whatever you're into eliminating as far as that. Maybe some small game hunting like a rabbit, something like that, but that would work well with this. Um, Sig so claims you get about 150 shots per fill. Ah, we get actually a little bit less. You're, you're gonna get, you're gonna get four magazines. Um, that's about 120 really good shots, and then I would plan on refilling it. So you get 120 consistent shots that are all gonna be in that well with the pellets we use in that mid 600 um, feet per second, 11 foot pounds of energy range. So that's that's pretty good. Um, 
the trigger on this, this is a double action. Now some of you out there are a little confused because you go, well, it's not a semi-automatic rifle. No. Let me give you the definition of a semi-automatic. Semi-automatic means it's self-loading. And this is self-loading. It's a belt. So this technically is a semi-automatic rifle. However, it is a double action trigger. Um, you saw it was about a nine pound trigger pull. Felt a little bit heavy, but I'm telling you when you shoot it, it's, it does not feel that bad. You can rapid fire this gun. Um, you can squeeze it. It's very, it's a controlled trigger. So that's not bad at all. So this definitely qualifies as a semi-automatic rifle, okay? Um, this also has the M-Lock system. If you'll see here, I put a rail on the bottom of this using their M-Lock system right here. We got a little Picatinny rail I put on there so I could mount um, the bipod, which is kind of nice because as you guys know, I love shooting with bipods. They really steady out your aim the whole bit. Um, Anyway, in addition to that, I also put optics on here. This has a Picatinny rail. It runs all the way across here. I wanted to do the optics so I can give you some really good accuracy. Besides that, I just don't see that well, and I do much better with the optics. However, the peep sights on this are phenomenal. And even if you have bad eyesight, when you look through the peep sight, because of the lighting, it, it, it's a much clearer picture than just a, a standard open sights. So these peep sights are really nice and they're fully adjustable. So if you like to shoot peep sights, these are a way to go. And they fold down so you can leave them on here. This is nice because I have the scope on these, uh, just these releases where I can, uh, of course I put this one on too tight, that we can just pop this off if you wanted to shoot then your uh, open sights and we just flip that up and you're ready to go just like that. See how simple that is? But yeah, so these flip up and down and they're fully adjustable which is nice. Yes, this does have a charging handle. You're pretty much only going to need that when you first put the air in it, to be honest with you. When you first put the air in it, you're going to charge it, because other than that, it does have a blowback system where it kind of resets itself. So that's the only time you're going to need to do the charging handle, is uh, initially when you set that up. But overall, what a great gun. It feels great. It feels solid. Um, again, I just want to remind you, this is the bottle this gun actually comes with. And this is the gauge that it comes with. So even though it might look different on the box, this is the one it's coming with for now. So just keep that in mind. So if it shows up and you go, wait, the gauge looks different, you didn't get the wrong bottle. This is the one that's coming with it. So overall, what a fun gun. Because if you think about what this is designed for, and anytime, and I mentioned this before, when you're designing a PCP and where SIG was designing this, you have to somewhere um, put your number of shots, you gotta balance that with the power. So, like I said, you could probably set this up where it was shooting a much higher velocity, but you wouldn't get very many rounds. And the fun thing about this gun is you can get four magazines worth of rounds, and which is tremendous for plinking and doing some of that other stuff. So they did a nice little balance there. You're getting 11 foot-pounds of energy, yes, and, and 30 rounds. So this is a different style than you know your little PCP rifles that you know maybe shoot five shots or six shots and out of a magazine and are getting much higher velocity this is a different type of rifle this is backyard friendly um, do all kinds of plinking with it and again the, the small game type stuff so I just love the way that this can be um, accessorized too with the M-Lock system here and then uh, the big Picatinny rail across the top you can't beat it and uh, we talked about SIG is coming out with their own pump for this in April. It's obviously sold separately. It doesn't come with a gun, but you can buy that, and it's going to retail for um, right around 190 bucks. I think I'm 189.99, something like that. So I love this gun. I'll be honest with you. And uh, what I'm going to give it five stars without a doubt. It is so unique. It is so fun, and not to mention. The cool factor. You have to admit, this is one of the coolest looking air rifles you could probably get your hands on. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, we'd love to get your feedback, so please give us a thumbs up. Um, many of those we can get is fantastic. Want to be notified new video, don't forget about the little bell. And don't forget about my website. Check it out. Uh, I write a couple articles. I try to come out with one article a month just depending on how busy I am. But check that out, www.airgundetectives.com. So with that, remember, this is where we take the mystery out of air guns. So I appreciate you tuning in. Until next time.